<laughs> part of where I'm going is uh, I got to travel like a mile up a stream. <laughs> That's the part where I'm not too sure if I, hopefully I can actually get there. I don't know, looked doable on Google Maps, but uh, yeah, everything looked um, quite a bit flat or so. Anyways, what about a fourth? My wife wanted me to get a better shot of a donkey. Here you go. Here's a donkey. There's some very scary looking bulls. Hey bulls, good day. How did the donkey go? Oh, he went over by the bulls. He's like, screw this guy. I don't trust him. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I kind of scared of the bull to tell you the truth. That's a cool little uh, village right here. Featured this in a couple of my uh, videos where I came up into here. Let's, uh, I think I'm gonna go check the bats out. Yeah, you can go check out my previous videos. I checked out that house there. We're gonna go revisit this house here, see, see how a year has done it. Uh, a room full of bats. Let's see if they're, they're probably still in there, I'd assume. Man, I love this canyon up there. <laughs> Almost looks like a hole in the rock up there. All right. Uh, somebody removed the old graffiti and somebody put some new graffiti up. <laughs> and people wasting all their money on spray paint. Oh, I probably remember my flashlight. Just gotta step over this thing here. <sighs> So don't step on any nails here. Oh, it stinks. Oh, definitely stinks. Yeah, I was considering uh, doing like an overnighter here, but I knew how bad it's stuck in this one. So I don't know if the miner's cabin is going to be any better. It's probably going to be uh, exponentially smaller. I know that much. Sorry, pulled the toilet out of the bathroom. Interesting. Anyone home? If so, I'm just investigating the place. Don't mind me. Jesus, fuck, what the hell is that? Weird, that's some kind of in-floor heater. I never, didn't notice that before somehow. <laughs> okay, let's just... Uh... bird's nest up in the corner. <laughs> All right, let's go check out the bat room. That should be this room right here. Oh no, there's only one bat in here. Oh, we have the guano. Look at that, look how thick it is. It's pretty nasty, probably part of contributing to what the smell is in here. You don't need one bat? Oh no, two bats. Yeah, so I came here last year, this thing was full of bats. I didn't have a camera that handled doing uh, nighttime very well. Oh, look at those. We'll go up to these two right here. Yeah, right there. Uh, little baddies. <laughs> Somebody squeaked at me. It's not, it's not full of bats this year. Only those two little ones. Hmm. Okay, I better get out of here before I cause myself some kind of health problems. Plus there's some kind of weird noise in there. <laughs> Look at a lot. A mouse squeaking at me. Ooh, there's the bathroom. Oh yeah, it stinks. But then, last but not least, somebody's been ripping up the floorboards in this place. Yeah, that only had one little hole in it before. <laughs> oh wow, the whole building's uh, cracking. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, you can, uh, if you go check out some of my previous videos, you can see a little bit more on this place and some of the other places around here. It's a um, trip to Crown King and tour in Arizona or something like that's the titles. No idea what this place is called. Um, it is close to Columbia, but I don't think it's quite quite there. I don't know. On what and fourth. Yeah, this is basically a little town at Cow Creek Road in uh, Columbia Trail. 
here, so I won't be using Columbia Trail to actually get to anywhere by Columbia. I'll be taking more in the back route. Unfortunately, they have a lot of it specified as private property back there, so I'm taking more of the BLM route that'll get me in there without hopefully trespassing at all. I don't, I don't want to do that. That's a little uh, weir spring. I've used that multiple times to get water from. Right now, but man, I'm pretty much full on all my water. I don't even have my filter with me right now. I have so much water, I'll be fine for the next couple of days. But yeah, it's nice to nice to know it's there. Uh, maybe tomorrow I'll come and take a slight shower in or something to get the dust off. I don't know. Unwanted vault. Found some more uh, donkeys over here. They're like, no trespass. We don't know what those signs mean, man. That's cool. Yeah, three donkeys. One, two, three. Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> Hopefully you guys aren't up too much further. You're really obnoxious when I camp. You know that? Yeah. Streams are definitely uh, slightly flowing. <laughs> now the further I'm getting up, I don't know. May have to... Uh, Hopefully right up a, well, hopefully it's not deep if it is flowing, but it, yeah, I may have to ride up a creek for a mile. <laughs> We're gonna go up Pooh Creek without a paddle. I don't know, let's see. So far the road is, I don't know, not too bad. Well, unfortunately the way I was trying to go has private property road all over it. <laughs> I still think it's a right away to somewhere else, but yeah, I'm not going to risk getting shot. It is Arizona. I mean, uh, um, I guess I'm going to go up. I think the next road will connect into it. Uh, I'm going to give that a try. <laughs> this is why this is an adventure. I mean, private property, but it doesn't say you no know, trespassing. So I think I'm good. This road should be a proper right away. Let's hope so. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. That should get me off towards the miner's cabin. Tell you guys a little bit more about it if I actually make it to it. Otherwise, I'm just gonna edit it out and make it a video about something else. <laughs> definitely getting more gnarly now. Definitely uh, beyond the dam point now. Continue for half a mile. Uh, yep. Okay. All right. The property is there. I had to go beyond one sign. Somebody just hung it there, I think, trying to keep through traffic out. It wasn't a legit one. And yeah, that's really hard to tell when people just hang signs when they're not supposed to. Some of these roads are uh, public right-of-ways. Anywho, yeah, this road is really, really not traveled all that much. Definitely getting back in the sticks of it here. Like this type of a drop on uh, <laughs> Google Maps. Whew, yeah, this is uh, dropping into Humbug Creek. Yeah, I guess that would be Humbug Canyon right there. Yeah, coming down something like this with a trailer is gnarly, guys. It goes sideways on you every once in a while. You gotta watch out. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go about a mile up the canyon to find this cabin. It is really isolated, guys. All right, we're not talking like Colorado River deep or anything. Okay. Look, the fang will keep, not won't be submerged or anything in it. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually walk over to Columbia. I don't think I'm more than a, a few thousand feet. Bike's a little bit hard to turn. And I don't know, some walking time couldn't hurt. So uh, yep, just down this road and we'll find the old city of Columbia. They were, I think it was like 1850 when settlers first came to this area. And yeah, they, man, they tried to mine it out for quite a while, nobody really had any luck. I think they pulled only like, I don't know, $40,000 out of the area. So they, yeah, they ended up naming it Humbug Creek because, well, it was a big disappointment. And then they, they left, it sat empty, I think until somewhere in the 1900s, it boomed back in. Somebody ended up finding a small deposit. So it boomed back up again and I think, yeah, probably towards the end of their boom, that's when uh, this miner that I'm going to his cabin showed up. I think it was like, 
Uh, he may have showed up afterward. Oh, there she be. Nice, yeah. Somebody said, look for the palm trees. It'll signify where the town used to be. So there's my palm trees. Ooh, creek crossing here. Uh, <laughs> joy. I guess I'm going to jump it. Uh, oh, boy. I don't want wet feet. Oh, yeah. oh, I made it. It's there. Man, look at that doorway. <laughs> Nothing like crouching in every time you got to come into your house. That's man, that's narrow and and low. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, it should be more to it. Um, of course, it could be overgrown at this point. I don't know. Let's look around. Hmm. Not really finding much of the the town. I must be maybe looking in the wrong spot. I'm not sure. Should be right here. Or that's just the, the limited amount of it that's just left nowadays. Oh, wow, this is a, a nice little spot. There's something over that way. Let's check that out. Yeah, gonna cross the creek here, see if I can, uh, I think maybe it's on the other side of the <laughs> creek. As soon as I find a good way across. Too sure. Where is Columbia? Hey, this may be more of it. I'm not sure. Wow, what a bunch of junk. Ah, it is. This is the old city of Columbia. Are those pea jugs? <laughs> it looks like pea. I ain't even gonna open it to find out. Maybe it's gasoline. Looks like pea. There's no way anybody would fill that many things of pee up, right? <laughs> well, so yeah, this is the old city of Columbia. It is, it gets bought and sold. I, I think maybe it has a miner's claim on it every once in a while, but yeah, this is one of Arizona's uh, genuine ghost towns right here. Of course, all this modern trash, I... Not sure what time period we're seeing that from. Uh, so we got another little little building over here. It's not much left to her. Ooh, it's a lizard in that camping chair. Where'd he go? He's hiding. Where are you hiding, little buddy? Yeah, I think I think all the mining operations have destroyed the uh, what would have been left of the city of Columbia. Cause there, there really isn't anything here anymore. Yeah, most of the buildings, it looks like they've been destroyed. That sucks. Take it, that's... That's a guy currently mining it. Not trying to claim jump. Better ways of making money. I think that's it for the city of Columbia. She's uh, she's gone, guys. There's <laughs> there's nothing nothing really worth even coming over here for, to tell you the truth. Well, I was hoping there was more more of it left, but it appears that. All the mining operations over the years have just dismantled the damn city because there is not much left of her at all. Back in the 50s, they used to, uh, that tour or a uh, little ghost town set up here, that it set up to where a lot of the buildings had the tops on them. They had like little gift shops and everything. <laughs> she gone. Uh, it's just mine is definitely not active either, so I don't have to worry about the miner jumping out at me. What are you doing? Just keep looking for some, see if we can find any buildings here. Thinking they're all destroyed. Thinking they had all these rocks laying around were the remnants of the town. Walk a little bit more and then that's about it. Hmm. 
trash. <laughs> old pond liner. Yeah, old campsite. Yeah, I think I think that's all I'm gonna find on this, guys. There's the city's gone. <laughs> There was that, what, two structures that show that its existence was once here. There's some of the retaining wall that was built there to hold back the cliff. I think that's the original. Yeah, it used to have, these look cool. The road came in and had retaining walls on both sides. That, old pictures, she gone. Yeah, I assume that's the retaining wall all over the place that we're looking at. That's old. You see the rivets in it. Yeah, it's probably dating back to the 1800s right there. Just gotta find a way through the bush here. I think this may be where they actually, uh, it's like maybe they blast a mine shut here. I'm not seeing any entry. Been along and seen a, a private pro a property sign. Yeah, it's overgrown. All right, and we have a mine. Damn, <laughs> all my flashlights and everything are back at the freaking bike. Uh, entrance, eh, not too bad. Let's take a little looksy poo in here. Hello? May have been to some exploration. Let's go just slightly in as far as we can see. Hello? Oh, it's gonna get real dark, guys. I have no light source on me. I'm not planning on going too far in, but it looked like the dead end started right there. Okay, yeah, probably in a pitch blackness here. Yeah, there's, I found the face right there. So, all right. First mine has been conquered. Let's go touch the face. Ooh, bet. All right, I entered my first mine. Ah, oh, bat! <laughs> Where'd that bat go? <laughs> uh, all right, now onward and forth, back to the bike. Crawl out of this thing. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's just a slight little exploration mine there. Don't look like anybody's had the uh, permit. <laughs> To actually mine it for quite a long time. Okay. Whew. Now back to the bike. <laughs> Should be way over there somewhere. Check this out. This back at that uh, house with a really small doorway. Maybe it was dug in. Maybe the earth has built up a little bit more, but check that out. The cactus is growing right out of the side of this building. It's like, I don't need no dirt. <laughs> That's cool. All right, onward and forth, about a uh, about a mile up creek. This should be this should be fun. <laughs> yeah, this guy was uh, he's definitely what you consider a hermit. Could actually be considered like one of the one of the last hermits of Arizona. All right, what is the best way to do this? Oh, I have no stones to put my feet on, so crap. That means I got to ride it. <laughs> oh boy guys all right Let's see how this goes full power Woo i got a wet butt and no wet feet <laughs> nice all right first cream crossing done a million more to go <laughs> boy well the uh the road barely ever traveled <laughs> Whew. Yeah, well, I don't, from what I can see on Google, not much of this road is left. It used to go all the way to well, Columbia and a city named Humbug, Arizona. That one you actually well, can't find on the map, but yeah, it's a mile, mile from Columbia up, up the stream. <clears throat> Maybe, maybe a little bit more. It's probably like a mile and a half, two miles maybe. Uh, it's 
It's not that muddy through here. <laughs> oh boy, that was muddy. All right. Whew. <laughs> it's gonna be a hard mile, guys. And this is why nobody's been to this uh, cabin in so long. <laughs> I think at least seven years since the last review, and that guy, that guy came up with this drone. 2007 is the last time I've known anybody hiked up this. Ah, go buffet, go, go, go. This looks like old road. Now if I can get up, it would be. about a half a mile away from that cabin curly's cabin and yeah that's the condition of the road i want to walk check it out see how possible this even is i ban with the trailer and it's stuck on all this stuff check it out you definitely don't see that very often it's like a i think it's a flywheel to some kind of mining operation it's pretty cool it's pretty old oh there's two of them there's the other wheel right there stuck in the wow cool Crazy. If I could actually get my bike all the way back in here, that's got some rough patches to get through. Well, I haven't found the place either yet. Whew, it's even hard to walk up the creek. It should be right here. It should be right, right here. Had to take foot to get here, but I made it. Destination, but really don't think I can get my bike, unfortunately, up, up into here. Man, what a cool camping spot. But yeah, I mean, I had to foot it about a half a mile so far. But what this is, is this is a guy named Curly's Cabin. Um, Curly lived from 1908, I believe, till 1985 when he died. Yeah, and this is this was his place. He he lived pretty much. I think he moved, took this claim back when his he was in his twenties, and he he pretty much stayed here the the whole entire time. He, he never left. Uh, he actually ended up dying on this this property, probably probably on that bed right there. Actually, uh, his friend came up to visit him and found him. Well laying face first in that bed right there. She had a cup of coffee on the table. He went ahead and checked that. It was still warm, so just as he was hiking up that last little bit, pretty much Curly, Curly passed away there. But yeah, this is Curly's place. This is a historical landmark. Um, not many people make it back into here. It's, <laughs> well, I had to, I had to give up the bike there to be able to make it all the way up into here. I'm, I'm really not too sure if I'm going to be able to get the bike in here. Those, those river rocks are a beast. I also don't know where I'm going to turn around either. So that's interesting. But yeah, you can find this on Google Maps. It's a historical landmark, Curly's place. He died at the age of 77. See what kind of state this place is in. Oh, oh, definitely, uh, definitely seen better days. Yeah, this is Curly's place. Should be a oh, maybe that that was the bed. I don't know. One of one of the beds is where he was, where he was found. Yeah, this is yeah, this is all this curly stuff still up here still. Could be curly's pan here. 
His name was Herschel McGibbles or Kibbles. <laughs> Herschel McKimbley, I think. Kibbley? Kibbley? Something along those lines. Yeah, somebody took the old that's for the old uh, wood burning fireplace out of this. That's not cool. Let's see where we can find where good old uh, Herschel is buried on here. Huh. Interesting. I don't even know what that is. Should be buried. Somebody said right next to his favorite squirrel cactus. So we got got a few right there. We'll look for his uh his grave. Yeah, places uh, definitely seen better days. <laughs> Jeez. Oh wow, that was like a that was like a fireplace right there at one time. It's definitely uh, filled itself in a little bit. Yeah, he was Curly was meticulous about stacking his stones here. I uh, started seeing him probably about a quarter mile back. Stacked along, I think he has a pathway. Oh, let's see if Curly's up here. I think I uh, found Curly's dump here. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that is a lot of glass jars. Oh, wow. Uh, Curly liked to drink a little, it looks like. Oh, <laughs> uh, wow, there's a whole, whole freaking thing of, that is weird. I guess he probably uh, did a lot of canning. I'm not sure, they don't even look used. That's weird. It's like a whole thing of empty, empty cans, huh? Yeah, definitely Curly's dump here. <laughs> oh. In his grave, they said it was by his by a Socorro. I checked all those right there. Didn't see it. Ah, oh, crap, I didn't check the one far back. Let me check that one. Camp, if I could have got the bike to here. <laughs> Backpack and each item up. Oh boy, that would be, that'd be no fun. It's up in here. It's a bike. Yeah, I really don't really don't think I could get it here. Some of the rocks are just so massive. Yeah, it would take me like three or four hours pushing the bike up over in rocks. I was considering disconnecting it and, and doing it. But yeah, that's it's a little bit of a journey. Uh, look for alternative camp, I think is the plan now. There's a good one. Too bad I can't get here either. So, uh, I don't know. Figure something out. Uh, I don't know what they were, lift wheels? I'm uh, just climbing up here to, it's kind of curious what what was here. It had to have been a, ouch, thorned ass bush. It had to have been a big mining operation to have, I think some wheels like that. I don't know though, I'm not a miner. There's a mine full of water right there. She flooded, not going in that one for sure. Oh, there's a house up above too. I don't know how to get up there. Let's find out. Hey, I don't know what this one is. This isn't marked. Got a little fence here. Go under. Something else very old. Whew. Man, <laughs> these climbs up to these things. Wow. Um, not much left to whatever this was. She was a... Uh, She's tall, whatever it was. I gotta sit down for a second. Woo. <sighs> Almost a little fort here. That keeps going up. There would have been the base level. That's yeah, half story here. Whew. Uh, uh, what the fuck is that? It's built. I don't know what it is. <laughs> They built it, whatever it is. Maybe it was the center support for the building. Huh, wow, yeah, I'm not too sure of that one. Hmm. 
if I can get up any higher there. Yeah, definitely an old uh, miner's camp here too. Don't know any information on this one. It was probably, uh, probably most likely the Spanish came in and were mining it. Here, oh, there's not much information on, on anything with what they were doing. Pulling this uh, ancient trail from that last camp. And it looks like I found another, another little building over here. <laughs> Definitely dated too. There's a box spring for the bed. Should wonder how they got them back in here. Had to had to carry them. Eh, so a little little ten by ten place here. Neat. All right. I don't think I can get my bike up here either. Uh, I got to get it somewhere. It's stuck at the moment. I got to get back to it. Still following this old road down. Definitely, yeah, definitely was man-made. <laughs> it's, uh, has been traveled in a long time. That looks like a, that says a gobbing wall there, trying to keep the mountain from coming down anymore. This spot will work. It's next to a creek. All kinds of stuff to explore here. Got some nice canyon views. This is the road. So, just gonna disconnect the bike turn it around and in the trailer, just manually pull them in there. Cause, well, I'm stuck on a rock <laughs> and you can't back these things up. So, yep. Whew, yep, looks like camp. Hopefully I don't get interrupted by too many cows. I know they are back in here. And the joy of going to get this thing. How did it do? I gotta stop packing so heavy. Whoo! Oh, the leg down. Looks like I used 49% on this trip. So, wow, almost 10 amp hours to, to get here. <laughs> yeah, 51%. Yeah, I'll be sweating if I didn't have a spare battery in the back. Hopefully, I didn't dunk it in the water and uh, totally shorten out. <laughs> Doubt I did, because it'd probably be on fire if I did. All right, gonna get my chair and try to find a way to cross the river here. There's a little shaded spot right there. It looks mighty appealing right now. Cause yeah, I got a little bit of sweat coming off me. <laughs> uh, don't fall in the river. Uh, nice. Oh yeah, nice, nice parcel shade over here. Oh, that'll work. Actually get to have somewhat of a good fire since <laughs> nobody really ever comes up here and asks yeah, for a person every, every half a decade or to what I could find on my research. Oh, yeah, that cabin only had one review on it. It was pretty old. I'll put it, I'll put another one up there. And then, yeah, the one video of it's from like 2007. Or the yeah, guy has a drone video that's newer, I think 2015, but <laughs> he didn't actually go to it, I don't think. I don't know. Get the uh, tent set up here. Also inspect everything, uh, make sure it didn't get wet. And a lot of sand. Looks like it should be all right so far. Pillow's not wet, that's promising. Tent's not wet. Battery bag never even got wet. Okay, cool. I was worried about that. So, I think, mm, I'm gonna have to flatten it out a bit. Yep. Got my pillow, got it in the tent bag this time instead of the trash bag. Damn, all my bags are dirty. That is, uh, this is a self-inflating foam air mattress. It's a invoker. 
they're pretty easy. They're bulky. My other one's only like <laughs> that big at the end of it. But yeah, it's got an easy setup. Yeah, it's it's definitely worth it when you can afford the space and the weight, not gonna lie. Uh, my bedding stuff, and yeah, of course, the flip flops. Nope, wrong order. There we go. Because, well, I really don't want my ice water in the direct sunlight. Won't be ice water very long. All right. I'm gonna go and get me some apple juice over there. And of course I'm gonna take a green break. Of course I am. Just need to build a better bridge. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. It's a good stepping stones. Do, 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 do. Whoa. All right. Nice, I made it. Ah, nice and shady over here. All right, it's getting later. It's about, I don't know, let me check. <laughs> Uh, 5.34. Yeah, get my fire started, be eaten by 6. Have the hour to sunlight to do that. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, I need, first of all, I need to build my fire pit. So, I'm just going to go right here on the side of the river. It's a nice flash spot next to the river. No fire hazard whatsoever. So, and I may actually have a fire because... May be able to collect some of this driftwood. <laughs> that looks like it'll work pretty good. Let's see. Let's take the grill. Aha! Uh -huh. I balled it perfectly. All right, just need this special ingredient now. All right, good old charcoal. Well, hopefully I can get the lighter fluid open. I found that lighter fluid kind of messes with the rubber seal at the top a little bit. It was binding. You can see where I've twisted it. I added a little bit of vegetable oil to the cap to hopefully prevent it from doing this. Let's see. <laughs> Moment of trial. Trial. Oh, I got her. I got, yeah, I couldn't get it before. It was fused. So I think the vegetable oil helped. Whatever. Still works. It's all good. All right, got to get this lit pretty quick because the ground's wet underneath. Don't want it wicking. Oops. Up into it. That looks more than sufficient there. Don't think I want the camera right above it like that. Though no, we'll just back her up a little bit there before I light it. All right. And now, the moment of truth. Light. I said light. Nice. Grill on, get it nice and toasty. Back my chair up a little bit more too. Don't want that. Uh, <laughs> usually don't make any adult stuff fire retardant. They don't care about us, man. They just want us to burn. All right. <laughs> to start things off, I'm gonna warm me up some beans. And yeah, just like I said on last one, I can't eat these cold like Ryan Van Duzer. I just, I just can't do it. I gotta give him props for that because I like my food warm or hot. And just cause I don't feel like messing around with my uh, little tiny can opener I have on my spoon fork knife thing there. I'm just gonna straight into the, yep. It's a luxury item right there. Wish everybody go pop top. Be so much easier for camping. All right, pull that out. And we got beans. I used to, uh, stick the can boop, directly on the fire and warm them up like that. Seems like a good idea until you uh, look into how these cans survive without rusting through or anything. There's actually a small plastic liner in the inside. Yeah, I, I don't want to do that no more. I'll just, uh, I'll bring my little pot. <laughs> my kitchen's worst frying pan on there. And what I'm having tonight is, well, 
burritos. All right, got my hamburger, still nice and cold for my DGI case. <laughs> yeah, that's my drone case there. Definitely, definitely glad I double bagged that at, uh, yeah, definitely leaked there. Uh, at least I got somewhere to wash my hands, I guess. Slap that hamburger on there. Oh yeah, she's sizzling already. Let's keep the handle from <laughs> heating up. Yeah, she's nice and done. So now, time to add the seasoning. I use salsa to season my meats because, well, that stuff they sell in the little packets at the stores, it's pretty gross. It's uh, mostly sodium, it tastes like. I'd rather have something a little bit uh, more fresh. And on top of that, and I add a little bit of water just to get it all to marinate in real nicely into all that meat. Nice. Now I basically let that uh, simmer down until there's no more liquid in it. Hamburger. I, lo <laughs> I look up the creek and freaking hamburger staring at me right there. Look at her. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, that's a, that's a big deer right there. Yeah, he's just protecting his girls. He ran for me earlier. Looks like the same one. <laughs> so I guess a good thing I didn't uh, wear red. I don't know if that's the thing. If the ones out herding will come after you if you wear red. I know the bull herder ones, but maybe they pissed them off with red or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you can see there's his girls right down in there. Yeah, they'll probably, they may come closer, who knows. It's fine, as long as they don't come in my camp. Yeah, those cows are not, wanted nothing to do with me. They got their drink and there's a little road going back up that way. They, they got right on it and left. Thank goodness, because I don't want to wake up to move. Or, or even worse, have one like back over your tent. Oh my God. <laughs> I, don't ha I don't have calophobia, you have calophobia. Oh no. Did get a little bit of water, it went into my paper plates. I usually end up taking like multiple, ha! Just in case, oh no, I went through that one too. Eh, somewhat clean. Yeah, it's as clean as I'm gonna get right there. Yeah, just wipe it off. I'm made out of dirt and water, so. Yeah, yeah it's a little dirty. And I, then ba-boom, I got my tortillas. Unfortunately, I had to bring eight. I don't have a, a Ziploc bag big enough to put a couple in. So I just brought them all. I'm gonna have to load them back to my house. Luckily no water got in there. That would have been nasty. That would have ruined dinner. I'd have been eating meat out of a pan. Oh, our beans are nice and hot. They're boiling. <laughs> the beans, some sour cream. Lots of cheese. My veggie bowls. And this time I uh, <laughs> I pre-sliced them at home. It, and of course it wouldn't be right without a little hot sauce. You know, it's just, it's not fun if you don't wake up in the middle of the night with a little indigestion, you know? Yeah, I would just go open, open end burrito. There we go. One huge burrito. Hey. <laughs> It doesn't get any better than this. Yeah, got me a nice fire. <laughs> That's warm. Not too shabby. Unfortunately, with the small stuff though, you gotta get up every like five minutes to get new stuff. Or it just burns down to nothing. Whatever, it looks cool though. Look at that river. A freaking fire on the side of the river in the middle, well, pretty much of a, kind of like a canyon right here. Yeah, sort of, yeah, pretty much. I'd call it a uh, Humbug Canyon if I had to. Wow, well, yeah, it's getting pretty dark. I need to set up some lighting here. <laughs> Just so I can really hang one. Just like, boop, that works. And then, let's see, what does that look like? Can you see me now? Hey, hey, there I am. Need another light. More lighting. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I lost it. Put you a little back there. Whee. Okay, that works. All right, so it's dark now. I definitely can't explore around, so I'm gonna set up my entertainment center. Yep, I think I got like 
<laughs> like nine TV shows or something like that. In the 80s, I had to pop on my cyan light here so I could search through my bag. This one's pretty cool because you can actually turn it down or forward like that. Yeah, it's a cool little company, Cyan Sky. Check them out, guys. It's a pricey little light. It's built solid, and yeah, I really like that feature that I can turn it down like that because sometimes you're cooking and stuff, and it's just a much better angle. Yeah, I love this little screen, guys. It's it's pretty cool. It hooks up into pretty much any of the... Shoot, I got an S9. I think it's the lowest model that'll do this, but it converts your Samsung phone into a full touchscreen computer. All you got to do is find the right wire. Next. Yeah, so this is... This is an awesome mode. Oh, I have a full touch screen computer sitting in front of me. If I had a connection, I could run live streams across it. It'd be pretty cool, but unfortunately, Arizona has a really bad connections. These mountains break up cell signals like crazy. But yeah, going to my, I went ahead and downloaded the shows, obviously, because I knew I wouldn't have a connection. I'm just savvy like that. Got enough battery probably to watch TV for the next week, so yeah. Just need to, oh, one thing I don't like on my screen though is it doesn't have the greatest sound on it. I supplement it with my little speaker here I use to play music on. And that just links up right out of Bluetooth and then I got a better sounding speaker there. But y'all need it, I'll need to overpower the sound of the river this time. It's fine, so I wouldn't, it'll help me sleep. I don't know, we'll see. See what I say in the morning. So we got, I got my little speaker and I'm just gonna hang it right there. Nothing crazy about taking your cat for a walk. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. That's better. All right, now a little craptopolis. Crap populous. Crap craptopolis. Craptopolis. Sometimes there we go. I wonder why I give speeches to the <laughs> city at all. A king's speech should be the highlight of their week. Still mad they booed. No one's going to boo that. He dated a tree once. She wanted him to put down roots, so he was out. That's nice. <laughs> That's funny. Wow. Oh, take that out. Wow. Got a show now called Beacon 23. Previously on Beacon 23. I like it. It's a cool show. I'm into a lot of sci-fi type stuff. All right, and some Star Trek Discovery. Let's see what time is it. 9.06. Feels colder than that. All right, now some Star Trek Discovery. Sweet. All right, got all my shows watched. It's like 12:30 at night. It's getting pretty cold. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna crawl into the tent there, and I'm gonna hunker down. See you guys in the morning. Good morning. I, uh, I slept all right. I mean, not as good as at home, but yeah, I slept all right. I just, there was one point, I don't know, I think it was really heavy wind or two jets went by. Man, I snapped right out of my sleep. My subconscious thought this river was, was about to rush and flood out the canyon. <laughs> yeah, that'd be really bad to be in here during a rain period. The sandbar I'm on top of, um, I'm sure getting nearly uh, <laughs> underwater quite a bit. But eh, yeah, I know there was no rain or anything coming, so I knew I was safe. But yeah, it was funny. I woke up, dump, 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 dump. Heart was just bounding through the chest. Let's see what I got for breakfast this morning. Don't know how cold anything in, is in here. Uh, just, it's just cold. So yeah, I'm gonna start out with some peaches. I got a boiled egg in there. We have that. Yep. Good stuff. Peaches. Boiled egg, which, yeah, of course, cracked. <laughs> Definitely can't take fresh eggs with me. Hmm. But, wow, no, if I had a plastic container, I could keep them from crushing. But, yeah, that'd be a little ridiculous. I don't like putting that much work into breakfast anyways. Yeah. And I'll probably just finish it off with this last peach. I Still got, man, I brought way too much food. I got a bunch of granola bars. Uh, <laughs> probably still a pound of trail mix. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. I could probably survive out here for an extra day just on trail mix alone. Just gonna chill here next to the creek. 
On that note of getting hotter, I guess it's time to break down this here tent. Bye bye tent. Definitely got to shake this thing out. I got so much sand in it this time. It's like uh, camping on the beach here. May have not even needed an air mattress. That sand is so soft. Just looking around to make sure I didn't leave anything behind. Got all my trash picked up. If anybody ever visits Humble Creek down here, please clean up all your trash and everything. It's This place is like a hidden gem down in here. I don't think most people know how to even get back in here or that they're allowed to. Some of the neighborhoods put up private property signs, I think, just to keep the side-by-sides out. But you're allowed to still use the road and the locations. That one I turned away from, that may be the same case, but I'm just gonna stick to the same route I was on. Pretty sure that other one too, yeah, they, they just hung a bunch of signs because they got tired of ATVs coming back. But yeah, this place is prestige. All right, let's see if I can get out of this canyon. Damn it. <clears throat> the old road for a tiny bit going through the forest here. If you want to call it a road anymore, but yeah, it once was. Okay, yeah, I got a cross. It's my river crossing. Here. It almost looked like this road kept going, but yeah, not in a long time. It crosses over, there's a little bit of a smooth pathway. I just gotta get a whew, across the creek here. All right, onward and forth. Oh boy. Okay. This would have sucked if the river would have been higher. Okay, thank God there's stone at the bottom because this mud is soft. All right, just gotta go through her. Just gotta do it. Oh, woo wee. Right. Now I gotta get up a sand barge. All right. I'm gonna use 3% in a few hundred feet. Whew. Yeah, this is full throttle mode too. Full power, full throttle. I got I got deep sand. It's gonna be fun. Let's see how far I can make it through it. Oh, if I can even get started. Damn, okay, go with that. Go with, oh, she whining at full power. Yeah, all right, that was that one. Now for the next river. One of the very few decent parts of this road left. Oh boy, where am I going now? Did I cross this many rivers coming in? Mm. All right, where is my other, oh, there's my other end of the landing. Pretty much just need to go right through there. Yeah, I think that's the old road there. Okay, we're crossing. Mm. All right, yeah, this is, this is the doable part of the road. <laughs> the other end is just, she gone. Okay, yeah, this is a more river road here. Okay. okay. Where do I go now? My tires that way. Yeah, the road was pretty much pretty gone up to this point. Yeah, I could see. Looks like it's about as far as somebody's went with the vehicles right up to here, and then they they decided to turn around. It's the end of the car marks. I got I guess if you want a nice place where you don't run into people, take the high road. If I try this again, yeah, I'm gonna have to go pure panyard, which would be interesting. I could actually run out of battery because <laughs> of the amount of energy it takes. Maybe it'd take. Yeah, I'd probably. Probably wouldn't take as much without the trailer. The trailer definitely definitely has some drag in it. Influences me to take like that big air mattress and just stuff I normally wouldn't. Kind of looks like a road again. Once I get past, uh, kind of looks like a river. Yeah, I'm gonna use 6% Kenton. I don't think I'm that far. All right, this is kind of road. All right. And, oh yeah, another river crossing, damn it. I think this is the last one. And then I got a major climb up out of this canyon. Okay, yep, this is gonna have to go with it. It's all sandy and Yep, the cow's got it all destroyed. Oof. Yeah, at least my feet get wet. I got my dryer at home. All right. Yeah, once I got wet, but whatever. Uh, well, on the positive note, going through the river, should have cooled down the buffet there. She got she got totally soaked. If I don't have any airs. Oh yeah, she's cold to the touch. That is that is good. I was thinking, oh man, I'm gonna have to stop all that strain. I just put it through. And when you're not moving fast, it tends to not have as much cooling. All right. Upward and forth, this should be not fun. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, this is not easy. Full throttle. That looks like she's giving me 1100 watts. If I pedal, it should give me more. Of course, I gotta keep control of it. Buck wild. Yeah, go Buffet. Buffet can get you out of a canyon. Oh, that part so far. Woo -wee. Go Buffet, go. Go, 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 girl. All of the Buffet and good part of all my power to get up out of that canyon. <laughs> That's for the people that don't think you need an e-bike. Well, I guess you don't if you pack really light and 
I guarantee you'd probably be hiking a bike up that. That was, that was really, really steep. Actually, this whole part of my state is really, really steep. Yeah, these are the foothill of the Bradshaw Mountains. I don't know if you can consider them foothills. They're pretty big. Maybe they're considered part of the Bradshaw Mountains, the desert low end of it. Whew. Ah, dog nabbit. Went down the wrong road. Joy. Well, at least there was a gate eventually. That's yeah, a rough road, too. And this is why I brought a spare 20 amp battery. Because I don't want to die in the desert. People don't come back here very often. It is a maze. All right. Onward and forth. It must have been that last junction. Dang it. I think I seen a tire. One of my tire marks back there. Either that I'm going delirious. Who knows? Oh, that's a cactus. Gotta watch out for the ones on the ground. Oh, that's a steep climb. Oh, There's another place down this way. It's another little ghost town. This one definitely sits on private property. I know 13, 14 years ago, people were up there. They were talking about making it into a ghost town, but... Now it looks like <laughs> to keep people out of it from trespassing, they blew up their road here, which is it's kind of funny. Yeah, that would be definitely a neat little explore back in there, but yeah, I would have to would have to trespass to get there. Yeah, you can see the old old sign right there. Made it back to the uh, main road here. Yeah, really wish I had my other tires on. These ones are stiffy. Yeah, I still haven't changed into my tubeless tires, guys. My bike's making a duck noise. I think my, I need to check my front tire again. It did get loose once. Quick, quick releases you. Don't trust them entirely off-road. They come loose. Uh, maybe it just, it may be out of alignment. It's fine. It's fine if my bike makes a duck noise. It's all right. Oh man, I always feel like I got blisters on my hands. I've been, yeah, these bumps are, they're killer. I guess I should have brought my gloves. Yeah, kind of feeling that at the moment. What do you do? Uh, what do you do? Oh, no, 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 all right. What's up, guys? He said, hey, it's a donkey in the hood. Don't even laugh at my jokes. All right. Fine. Sure, it's hella steep. You're gonna have the brake pads by the end. Oh, crap. Had a little bit of a mechanical there. Just climbing this uh, steep climb here, and I guess I should have shifted down all the way. I'm gonna die out in the desert now. No, I'm just kidding. I got tools on me. My, I got a bunch of stash. That's a stash. That's a stash. And then that's a stash right there. So I'm gonna get this chain fixed up real quick. A little hot. We'll just fast forward and it'll be fixed out of suddenly. I feel like, yeah. Hopefully I got the right side. I don't remember which side I put each one of these on. Nope, that's the tubeless tire repair kit. Ah, crap. I gotta pick the bike up and get to go to the other side. See if I can remember how to do all this. Yeah. Chain's fixed. Let's see. Hope I get to the top of this damn hill. Maybe I may get off of it and push it up this one, guys. This thing is this thing is steep. Yeah, it's it's got a 45 degree angle at it, right up there. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna push the bike and the trailer. A little motor assist, but 200 pounds off the chain should help me. And this is the the worst of the climbs. That oh, crap. And remember to put all my tools away. I love my little stash tools. I'm turning whole new shades of brown here. All right, yeah, I was able to push it up it that hill. Cause they call that the chain killer right there. Damn. All right, can't break another chain cause that was my only repair. I don't have a spare kit on me. Let me think about it. I think I have one at home. I think I only have a couple. Oops. Yeah, I probably do that every, I don't know, probably every 2,500 miles or so. I try to climb up something in the wrong gear and snap it. So yeah, it's it can't happen with the buffet. You're in the wrong gear and, oh no. Chain went off again. Whew. All right, I've had enough of these mechanicals. <laughs> yeah, she's making some funny noises. Wait, coming back this way. Yeah, I've gone up this road a lot. First time ever coming back down it. Always went a different way back. Oh, man, this gravel sucks. Why do they lay this? I don't know how that makes that better. Realizing nobody vandalized it. Woohoo! Woo! Made it back. Oh man, my hands are sore. I need a bath. I want to give a special thanks to everybody that contributed to the Green Break Fund. That was an epic adventure, guys. I took three modes of transportation to get to my destination, but I made it. I wanna give special thanks also to all my subscribers. If you wanna later see the director's cut of these videos, that's where I don't cut out as much as YouTube would like me to. One dollar, and you'll be able to do that. You also get, uh, anytime I release any of the videos early, you get to watch them before anybody else. Have a great day.